Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel The Weekend Mama. I hope you all guys are doing amazing and safe. In today's video we are going deep cleaning and rearrange the kitchen pantry. It's time to clean and reorder the pantry and restock grocery for a month. This is my monthly routine of pantry cleaning and I am strictly stuck to it. A little effort and feel little more productive can do a magic. One of the most important benefits of being organized and maintain a clean space is it minimizes stress. If everything has a place and there is a place for everything, life can be more stress free. I believe organized home can make a huge impact on our day to day life. So if you love to organize like me or a new homemaker and lean to learn homemaking skills this video is for you you will definitely get some tips and motivation to clean and reorder your pantry so without further delay let's get started today's video I have two tall pantry units one is a pull out pantry and the second one is the cabinet pantry other than this i am using two more small cabinets of my kitchen to store extra grocery Before making a grocery shopping list we must have a detailed look into the pantry spend some time to figure out the items needed and not needed Sometimes we buy things and never use them. If I'm not using them for a long period of time, I'm not going to keep them. I prefer to donate them after checking their expiry dates and throw away everything that is expired. Keep a magnetic board on the fridge and write things down immediately after you run out of it. When you draw a final list before shopping, add them up in the list. It is the best way to remember the items that are needed to buy. It always works best for me. Always go with the list. Make a grocery checklist of everything you stock in your pantry. One of the key benefits of grocery list is we avoid buying food items that are not needed. Grouping list by category and check what you need to restock before going to a supermarket or ordering online. It also saves you time, energy and money. After drawing a list you can click a picture with your mobile before going for a shopping. The very first step of pantry cleaning is to empty the shelves completely. This step help us to thoroughly clean the cabinets from top to bottom in a one go. After taking out everything from the cabinets wipe off all the shelves and cabinets of the pantry thoroughly Here I am using homemade cleaning spray and a microfiber cloth start with the top and wipe it to the bottom Let shelves dry completely before putting the containers back.
Before restock the grocery, wash or wipe all the containers. I prefer to wash them once a month. Whenever you wash containers, let them air dry. Never wipe them off with the help of a paper towel or a cloth. Before putting food items in containers, categorize them accordingly so that you fill the same category food items at a time. It saves you time when you put them back into the shelves. Clear containers are the best selection for our kitchen pantry, whether it lock in lock acrylic or glass pop-up jars. Acrylic are much lighter than glass and definitely the convenient option. Labels are the cherry on the top. I believe they complete the look of a space. I am a huge fan of labels. It also make it easier for other family members to find out the item they needed at the moment.
When it comes to snacks, we want to keep a lot of options in our house, especially if we have kids. Use open bins or baskets to store snacks in a lower shelf. It gives a nice look and make it easy for each family member to find a desired item. Lazy Susans are my favorite organizers when it comes to store so many bottles and jars at a one place. Because of their ability to rotate, it is much easier to find out the needed items. A Lazy Susan is perfect way to organize kitchen cabinets and so many other places in the house. We all have half used and open food packets lying in our pantry. I use these clips to seal open packets of food items. They comes in different sizes and I found them really useful. I have some open packets of food items and like to put them together in a separate basket. For extra grocery I have the other one so I have one basket for open packets and one for an unopened packets. I found it convenient. I use the top of the pantry cabinet to store these baskets. 